title of my daily vlog. Woo! Um, baby just went down for a nap. Seems to actually be taking. He was very tired and definitely wanted to fight it. But there's an amount of like, I can see that you're tired. Literally, you can't hold your eyes open and you're stumbling around like a tiny drunk. Let it go, baby. Let it. And he finally did. So he's napping now. Hopefully it'll be a solid nap. He'll really get some, some good sleep because he's been doing a lot of activity. And uh, parenting fail slash admission. Been watching some television together. And on some of my less healthy mental health days and also days where I just had a lot of stuff to get done. We were watching more TV than I think was developmentally in a great place for him so working really hard on just cutting it out um still although i totally i immediately broke this morning because i was like i have to drink my coffee and he really really wants interaction in a way i cannot give him yet but we watched baby signing time so, and he's mimicking the signs and stuff. So I was like, at least we're being educational. And then I, you know, I had my coffee and then scooped him up and he and I did a bunch of great playing, which was lovely. And then he got very tired and was like, Meh. and so now he's taking a nap and, uh, yeah. So trying to dial that back. Oh, cause we had a, his, uh, 15 month pediatrician appointment yesterday. And I don't like, I know I got thrown off. And so I really don't remember what I said in yesterday's video, but, um, he's totally on his curve and a bunch of it has gone up to average, which I realize people are like, you're excited about average, but as a preemie who has been fairly small, he has been slowly catching up. He's still on his curve on some things, but like the fact that he is approaching 50% on, or 50 percentile on some of these measurements is just such a good feeling of like, he's catching up, he's where he needs to be. Um, she was super happy, like, you know, developmentally, he's where he needs to be. Um, although they have these new questionnaire, like thing that is like, does, and it's like, doesn't, sometimes does this and so like the sometimes is very confusing because they're like runs and it's like well sometimes but he's not always running and I mean running top like he does that weird toddler walk faster sometimes I don't know if that counts as a run but then she like we re went through it with us and was like no like these are very confusing questionnaires but what we're trying to figure out is like developmentally, does he sometimes do this? And that counts as a yes. I was like, then yes, he does like mimic us and, and do all that. And I'm going to also focus on increasing the signing. Cause I think like, you know, his knowledge clearly outstrips his ability to speak and communicate. And I think, a lot of problems can be solved if he can express exactly what he's feeling. Now with tired, I don't need him to tell me he's tired. Like you can literally see it. Um, but you know, sometimes like he's hungry or he's thirsty and he'll do a little bit, but I'm going to just definitely encourage that a lot more strongly. Uh, cause I just think that that's going to be super helpful and kind of hopefully ease that transition as he shifts towards being more of a two-year-old which isn't yet like he's he's 15 months so he's not exactly like all like but like he's still like that's where he's aiming and if I can head off some of the power struggle evil terrible two stuff I'm, I'm down I'm there for it um yeah but so I have some big projects for this room that are very key but they're simply not going to happen before we get back from our visiting Carol. And I'm just, I've decided to be okay with it. I'm not going to stress. I'm going to like write out some plans of like how I want to accomplish. Cause I find I can get more projects done if I have like a list <laughs> that's like, this will move here and then this happens and then this will move here and then that happens. And that like, because also what I can do is I go through the list is like, during the day, if I get sidetracked, 
there's not a question of well, what do I do now? I'm like, I don't know what I do now. I'm going to look at the list. The list, the list says do laundry. All right, I got to do some laundry. Um, so that's what I'm working on. Um, I got to start packing, which I'm super not looking forward to because I hate packing. Although I'm hoping it'll be easier since I'm getting rid of a ton of stuff. And so that's cool. But I'm going to try and be very streamlined. And then all the baby crap. It'll be great. It'll be fantastic. I'm not worried about it. Anyway, so I hope you all are having a lovely week. I believe it's Wednesday. Anyway, whatever day of the week it is, I hope you're having a very good day and that the rest of your week you power through into an excellent finish getting stuff done that you want to get done with your life. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you awesome people tomorrow. Do, 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 do.